Let's talk about paths of the seas. Matthew Murray served as a U.S. Naval officer before suffering an injury which forced his retirement. He was then placed in charge of the depot of charts and instruments of the Hydrographic Office of the Navy from 1841 to 1861. He was a Christian who loved the Word of God. One day, while reading Psalm 8, he was struck by an important truth in verse 8. There he read that God had given man dominion over the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. He immediately saw the great practical significance of that verse, recognizing that there must be currents of water in the oceans just like, a, like vast rivers, Ecclesiastes 1 uh, six and these are routes for shipping, sea lanes for shipping, so there must be paths and let's see what the result was. With confidence in the accuracy of the Bible, <clears throat> Murray determined to discover the paths in the seas, utilizing charts and logs he had at his disposal. He did discover and plot many of the currents, just as the great Gulf Current, shown here, the great Gulf Current, 40 miles wide and 2,000 feet deep that comes out of the Gulf of Mexico into the Atlantic, the Japanese current, the California current, and others. Utilizing this information, the sailing ships of his day plied these currents and wind circuits, reducing as much as three weeks to time required to cross the ocean. The whole point is, the Bible had stated there were paths in the sea. No one knew that until someone in the right place believed the Bible and did the research. On a monument created or erected by the state of Virginia to his memory is found a plaque that reads as follows, Matthew Fontaine Murray, Pathfinder of the Seas, the genius who first snatched from the oceans and atmosphere the secret of their laws. His inspiration, Holy Writ, and that's on that state monument. Psalm 88, Ecclesiastes 1 6 on the monument. Just a simple Bible believing Christian who trusted the inerrancy of the Word of God became known as the genius pathfinder of the seas. Now, the moral to that is appreciate what he learned, but you can go much farther. You can be wiser than your teachers by reading and believing the Bible. It is absolute scientific truth. We're going to learn more about the scientific truth of the Bible as we continue in this lesson, Beauty and Creation, the Seas.